morning and welcome to our Easter reflection for Wednesday of Holy Week. My name is Dave Gregory. I'm one of the ministers at Croxy Green Baptist Church. And I bring you a reading today from John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 27 to 29. Jesus said to his friends, Peace I leave you with. My peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say I am going away and I am coming back. If you love me, you will be glad that I'm going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens so that when it does happen you will believe over the last uh, week or so i found myself watching the tv program hurricane man over breakfast just trying to get away from the news a little bit even though i'm fascinated by the weather i'm not always drawn to programs about its extremes and this one is crazier than most I've come across. It's a reality TV show about people who try to get into the eye of a hurricane when everybody else is trying to get out of the way of the thing. It's a very dangerous thing to do. The footage is intense to say the least. It, it shows the immense power of these storms, the power that has been increasing over the last 50 years as the oceans warm as our climates change, destroying homes and livelihoods and whole communities. It's given me a, a fresh perspective on how terrifying and devastating the impact of these storms are upon people and nature. To get into the eye of the storm, you must first endure its eye wall, where the winds are at their maximum and the rain and hail lash down on you. It's scary stuff. But then, quite suddenly, you pass into the eye and it's calm and the sun comes out and the birds begin to sing and you can hear the insects chirp. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You don't need to be in a hurricane to be troubled or afraid, do you? Literally, the words in the original Greek mean disturbed and in a state of dread. The past year with Covid has left us troubled and afraid in different measures and at different times. Troubled by the lack of contact we have had with people and the risk that comes with meeting them if we do. The dread of returning to work or having to keep on working through it all or being furloughed and made redundant with the uncertainties that that can bring. Jesus promises peace. And perhaps we all need that. But what is the peace that he offers? What does he mean? I do not give it to you as the world gives. I wonder what kind of peace you are looking for now. The peace of comfort and security, knowing contentment and having enough to get by on, or perhaps just a little bit more. Knowing that you'll be okay no matter what the ups and downs of the economy are. The peace of knowing that your health is good. The peace of a happy and harmonious family life. Peace where there are no worries or threats to you and your loved one's security and safety. Well, perhaps you've known such peace, whether fleeting or longer lasting. Yet this past year, living with COVID has shown all these moments of peace can be so fragile and fleeting. 
Now, I don't think this is the kind of peace that Jesus speaks of here, for he says, I do not give it to you as the world gives. For his friends, the, the next 48 hours are going to be anything but peaceful. They are going to be in the wall of the hurricane. Just the thought of Jesus going away has left them in turmoil. But by Sunday night, they will have the doors locked for fear of those who would arrest and kill Jesus. And beyond that point, their ongoing story would know much trouble. No, this this peace they would learn is the, the strange calmness and peace of the hurricane's eye surrounded by the storm of the wall. It's a different way of peace than the peace we seek in our, on our own and in our lives. It's, it's knowing that despite everything, Despite the pressures and troubles of life, the dread anxiety of the present and the concerns of the future, that in these storms, within and without us, you are loved and valued and precious and that nothing can take that away from you. It's peace that's bound up in the promise, I am coming back to you. For this peace that Jesus speaks of flows from his presence with you in the lashings of the storm. 48 hours later, quaking behind locked doors, Jesus stood among them and fulfilled the promise. Peace be with you. Where will you be this coming Easter Sunday evening? Well, at the end of our COVID year, and whatever may come in the coming year ahead, may you discover anew and afresh and more deeply the presence of Jesus, who is not far from you who loves you and is for you, who cares for you and feels your sorrow and knows your dread. And despite our troubles and in the midst of the turmoil of the eye wall of life, may you know and trust in the strange calmness of the hurricane's eye and that Jesus is near. A prayer for us and others this day. Jesus, you are in the midst of the storms of our world. We think of those who have endured their intensity this year in life-changing ways those who have known the impact of COVID on their own family and their own lives, those who battle through the strong headwinds of the eye wall in caring and serving others, for all whose lives have been disturbed and still live in dread. Jesus, we trust this day in your promise for them and ourselves. As you promised and fulfilled and drew near to the disciples, draw near to us. And in the midst of our storms, may we know your peace, which transcends all understanding and guards our hearts and minds. Amen.